Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give away one of my best kept smallmouth bass baits for the Great Lakes and deep clear water. Uh, it's one that if you're in the know, you know, but most people don't think about doing it, don't have one rigged up. Uh, and man, it is a killer smallmouth bass bait. It's a killer bait all around, but when you're talking smallmouth bass, it is an absolute killer for deep water smallmouth bass. Before I get into it, I just want to remind all you guys to subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Uh, every month I do a, a random drawing from my list of subscribers for at least a, a prize package from Bridgeford Foods made up of different flavors of jerky. Uh, I also randomly throw in other sponsor related uh, items to give away as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you are automatically entered into my monthly drawings. Um, okay, so the bait, nothing, nothing crazy. Just a wobblehead, right guys? This is my favorite dirty jigs. This is their pivot point football head. Uh, this bait is relatively unused. You know, there's certain regions in the country where I feel like the wobblehead is a go-to bait, specifically more in that Ozarks region. But you don't hear about it much as a smallmouth bass bait. And here's the key. Guys, match it up with one of your favorite swim baits. You know, in this case, this is just a Berkeley Power Swimmer. So, you know, you don't hear about guys using a wobblehead much with a swim bait. But here's the reason this works. So the first thing I just want to point out, when you when you uh, rig it on here, anytime you're rigging a wobblehead jig, you don't want to you don't want to go up the nose of your bait much more than uh, you know that eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch gap that you have here in your hook shank. And the reason for that is when you slide that up. Let's put this on all the way. Okay, so when you rig this up, you you want to make sure that you've got a good amount of gap up here at the top end. You don't want your plastic bait sliding up to the where the joint is because that'll make the bait stiffer. Part of the key to this bait is having that motion, you know, when you're retrieving it. You almost want it to have that crankbait motion when it's bouncing off the bottom. And if you slide your plastic too far up on the head, that plastic will want to like almost connect that joint and, and it'll really limit the amount of movement. But here's the key with a swim bait on the wobblehead. Like I said before, the wobblehead is a well-known bait. I still don't think it gets used as much as it should. Uh, there was a period a few years ago where I feel like it was really, really popular. And now you're not hearing as much about it. But with the smallmouth on deep, clear impoundments, and specifically on the Great Lakes, this bait does two things. One is it gets down deep really easily. You can throw, you know, they make these up over an ounce. They sink to the bottom really quick, and they stay on the bottom. You know, the whole key is you just want a nice, slow retrieve, almost like you're using a crankbait. But in this case, it's always going to stay on the bottom. The other big part about this is it is an absolute phenomenal bait that mimics a goby. There are not a ton of good goby imitating baits on the market, but, but the reason I believe this mimics a goby so well is first, you've got a big bulbous head, right? If you've seen gobies, and I'll put a picture up right here. You can tell in that picture that they've got a big bulbous head. So you've got a big football style shaped head here, which really uh, just does, you know, it does a good job mimicking, mimic, mimicking the big head of a goby. The second important part to remember with gobies is they don't have, uh, they don't have air bladders, a swim bladder. So because of that, they are pretty much plastered right to the bottom. And if you've seen a goby sliding around, 
they're really good at just kind of like scooting right on the bottom and hitting the brakes. You know, they move and stop, move and stop, move and stop. And they've got uh, their bottom fin, their pectoral fin, is almost like a suction cup. If you've seen it, it, it fans out like that and it acts as a suction cup so they can actually like sit on a rock really well and keep, you know, keep their place. And that's what this bait is meant to do. You know, when you're dragging this on the bottom, it is it is just maintaining complete compact or contact with the bottom and is just scooting along the rocks just like a goby would. If you put if you put your favorite swim bait on a normal jig head or a normal swim bait hook, the bait will naturally want to rise. And that's not what a goby does. It's a, you know, that's a swim baits are great at mimicking bait fish. But a goby is almost more of like a crayfish. So you want your bait to be scooting around the bottom. And when you're talking about a lot of these uh, trophy smallmouth bass fisheries now, you're talking about fisheries that have gobies in them. And the whole key is to mimic those goby because they really are the smallmouth bass's favorite uh, meal. You know, they're big fatty fish that if you've ever held one, <laughs> I mean, I can imagine they slide right down the gullet of a fish really well because they're, they don't really have any spines on them. They're just kind of a nice soft uh, fish. So guys, next time you're headed out to the lake, if you're, if you're chasing smallmouth bass, either on the Great Lakes or you've got a, a deep, clear impoundment that you're fishing that you know has gobies in it or a good crayfish population, uh, make sure that you put on your favorite wobblehead with your favorite swim bait, throw it out, drag it on the bottom. A nice, straight, steady retrieve is all you need to do. And uh, I think you'll be surprised at how well this bait will generate strikes when you're dealing with smallmouth. It works on all species, but I have found it to be absolutely phenomenal on smallmouth. And it's kind of one of those, those well-kept secrets on the Great Lakes region. There are a lot of guys that are winning a lot of money using this and they don't they're not telling you about it they're saying they're catching them on tubes or drop shots but they're really catching them on this so guys head out to your tackle shop get your favorite wobble head put your favorite swim bait on it put it to work it's a good one guys i'm telling you uh anyways like to uh, like the the video if you enjoyed it share it on your social media outlets if you think other people you know might enjoy it as well and subscribe to the channel to make sure that you are entered into my monthly giveaways and that you don't miss any of the daily tips that we have coming out right now. Lots more good videos coming. I've got a lot of really good ideas, some more good tournaments uh, that I'm, I'll be fishing here shortly. So a lot more tournament recaps as well. Thanks for watching, guys.